right. We are here today with Melissa Harrison, not only a client, but a super good friend of mine. You already know me, I'm Kendall with Remax Realty, and we're going to do what's called like an update video. Uh, many of you may or may not have seen the video that we've released concerning uh, her process and her journey for her family uh, to home ownership. So if you haven't seen that, uh, make sure you look out for that. But we're going to do kind of today a quick update just to check on uh, our client today. Oftentimes, um, if you're not in relationship with the realtor, uh, we have two sayings in the realtor business. Some people are transactional agents and some people are, are relational. And what I like to say personally, mm -hmm. I'm transrelational. Uh, so I like, you know, obviously as a realtor, you have to be about the business of the transaction, but that does not mean you should not be relational. And because she's a good friend, a uh, friend of her family, uh, the relationship was, was, was good. Uh, so the transaction just kind of made it sweeter. Uh, but we want to talk to Melissa real quick. Uh, we did a deal uh, for a single family home in the northern quadrant of Columbus. Uh, and we closed that deal uh, in July of 2020. And it is now uh, the end of October going into Thanksgiving. And we just want to talk about uh, some of the things she's done to her house, just uh, allowing her to kind of just retro the whole process and talk to you those who are looking to buy here in the in the near future and uh, hopefully you'll get some education say hi to everyone melissa how are you hey, <laughs> good yeah. good so it's been since july of 2020 july a few months how are you settling in tell us about kind of your process and some of the things you've done uh before you moved in and kind of bring us up to this point um, we're still doing really well. Um, it has definitely been a journey uh, getting moved in and um, getting acclimated to being homeowners again. Um, we were renting um, for like the last 10 years. So um, we, uh, we lost our first home in the recession. So becoming a, a homeowner again was, it just took a little bit of getting used to, but we, but we got used to it really quickly. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really great. Just, just learning, um, all the different things about being a homeowner. Um, when we first moved in, we, uh, we had to buy our appliances for this particular deal, which was fine because we got a great deal in the house. Um, we, on our property, we had a lot of overgrown bush, um, and trees. And so we got that all cleared out. So our property looks awesome right now. Uh, we put a brand new roof on the house. It's beautiful. So it's, it's been a great, great process. Good, good. Now you mentioned that uh, you were previously homeowners and that during that, that, that tough time that America went through around 2007 to about 2008, 2009, mm -hmm. ending, rounding off around 2010, uh, it was tough. Can you just talk to us just briefly about how that was emotionally and kind of what you were thinking with regards to owning a house possibly down the future. Many people don't know you can come back from losses. Yes. yes, it, you know, when we lost our first house, it was very traumatic. Again, like you mentioned before, it, it affected a lot of people and we didn't think it would affect us, but it did. And to, for us to have to turn over our keys back to the bank, it was very, very traumatic. And I, at that point, I said, never again, will I ever buy another home? It was just, it was so hurtful and so traumatic that I said, I never want to go through this again. Um, but over time, you know, we decided, you know, well, we're going to get our finances in order and get our credit in order. And so, you know, when we were doing all this, we didn't think we were going to be homeowners again. We just wanted to get our, our affairs straight. Um, and it did take time for, mm -hmm. for us to get our affairs straight. Um, but when the time came for us to buy a new home, we were ready. Yeah. So you can't bounce back there there is a way to bounce back it just you just have to start small and just work your way forward good good can you just give us a few quick practical things that you put into place so when you decided to buy again uh it paid off what, were, what are a few quick practical things that you guys did 
So what we mainly did was we we took a look at our credit. You know, it was in shambles after we lost our house, you know, and we had to basically be real and say, okay, our credit isn't great right now. So how are we going to get back on top? And so we looked at the things that we were in debt for and we worked on the smaller things and we just started paying those small things off. Another thing that we did too was we got um, one of those credit monitoring apps, one of the free ones like Credit Karma. Mm -hmm. And we just monitored our credit and we, and we kept tabs on it. So that way we know what was on it and what was going uh, coming up and what um, when our credit score was going up. We could say, okay, good, we're, we're, we're making progress. So that was mainly what we did was started small with the bills that we had, paying those off, even if it took a long time, it, we were paying those off and monitoring our credit. Good, good. A couple quick more questions, a couple more quick questions. What was the difference between the first time you went to buy a home and the second time? I know you mentioned that there was a gap of about roughly 10 years and you know how things kind of change. What were some of the current changes that maybe caught you off guard versus the last time you guys purchased? The market, it was a very competitive market. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The market that it was, you know, maybe 15 years ago, there was a, um, an abundance of houses available mm -hmm. in all price ranges. Um, but now because the, um, the pandemic and also because of the great interest rates that we have going on right now, um, everybody was flooding the market and there was very small inventory. And so it was very competitive, very tough. And it was one of those things where you just had to knuckle down and say, I'm going to hang on and find my house. Yeah, yeah. So briefly, you, not only did we find you a nice deal, right, but any and everything that was, you know, that was, could have been, that was wrong with the house, yeah. owner fixed it, right? Yeah. Because yeah. of your due diligence, your saving, you worked on your credit, not yeah. only did you get the house for a really good price, yeah. but just quickly, you kind of mentioned it briefly, can you kind of just quickly name some of the things you did to the house to make it yours? Well, to make it, to make it ours? Yeah. Um, well, well, what do you mean by make it ours? That's what a good question. Know? Your own personal touches. And, you know, I know, I know, you know, you mentioned that you got to choose, you know, your own personal touch. You guys picked out a beautiful um, appliances. You got a, a roof. You got to, you know, yes. change the color of the roof. You got a, a fence. I, mean, I don't want to give it all, but just some of the things, <laughs> some of the things you did to make the home your, like, feeling like it's, ah, uh, this is mine. It has our own earmark on it. Well, like you said, you know, picking out our own, uh, our own appliances was great. Um, recently, I've been decorating my office, which is where I'm in right now. I'm in my own home office, and that's something I never had, you know, in an apartment. Um, and just being able to, you know, put my own pictures on wall, and uh, we plan on doing some painting, you know, which you can do in an apartment. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm looking forward to making all those, you know, personal finishing touches on the home. And it's, it's just exciting. It really is. It's exciting. That is good. That is good. And my last question, what bit of advice would you give for a buyer in our current market looking to really kind of score the way you did? What are some of the things that you would give them as either encouragement or education or advice how, as a buyer, should I position myself in this current market? I would say, um, don't give up. You know, hang in there. It is a tough competitive market, but there is a house for you. Um, I would say, always put your best offers forward. Be competitive as much as you can. Be competitive mm -hmm. because they are out there to fight and they are not holding back. So be competitive. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I would also say, you know, expand your idea of um, the neighborhoods that you would want to be in. You know, yeah. don't don't pigeonhole yourself to one neighborhood or one side of the town. Be willing to look outside um, what what you thought you wanted, and you might find and score an awesome gym. Good, good. Well, thank you very much. It sees it makes me feel good to know that you are still doing y'all. The family is still good. They're doing their thing that you're adding to the house, I mean, and that you're happy, and it's a journey, and like I always tell people, and I got it from your father-in-law, 
God always ends on a plus. Yes, he does. He never yeah. ends on a negative. So never blessings negative. to you. Thank you Thank so you. much for uh, your time and a quick interview. And uh, I appreciate it. And as always, we'll stay in touch. And we got to hook up. And we got to yeah. do Culver's again. All yes, right? Gotta do Culver's. Culver's. Love those butter burgers. <laughs> those butter burgers, incredible. Um, really quick, quick, quick question. I just thought about it. Thin crust or deep dish? Mm. Oh, I'm thinking deep dish. Okay, okay. I love so, some deep dish. <laughs> bread, right? The more bread, the yes. better. <laughs> understood, understood. Well, thanks again. And uh, this is Kendall with Remax Revealty. Thank you for just checking out the video. We appreciate your time and uh, sending you great vibes and blessings. Listen, home ownership can be attained, it just takes time working with some people who know what they're doing, you can make it happen. Renting, I tell you, I always tell people this, um, whether you own a home or you're renting, you're paying for somebody's mortgage. This is Kendall. Talk to you soon, signing out.